When it comes to Dogecoin and Litecoin mining, there's really only one machine that comes to mind, and that is the Bitmain Antminer L7. For the past few years, the L7 has been the king of Dogecoin and Litecoin mining and has been rivaled by no one. But with new technology on the horizon, more competition coming to market, are the L7's days numbered? And should Bitmain start getting worried? So for about the past year, a lot of members of our community have been asking, Hawk, when do you think Bitmain is going to release the L9? And honestly, I've got into some debates about it. I pushed back. I didn't think that Bitmain would release an L9. I thought it would have been more like the L3 series where they release an L7 Plus or an L7 Plus Plus variant. Just judging by past behavior, that's what I thought they were going to do. But apparently, I was wrong. Bitmain has confirmed that they will release the L9 in May of 2024, this month in this Twitter post here in April. Now, I think this is a little weird for Bitmain to announce a new machine like this. I've never seen them do this before. Maybe the competition is starting to heat up and Bitmain wants to remain on top. So are the L7's days numbered? Yes, obviously. I think production may have stopped at least a couple months ago. And should Bitmain be worried? Hell no. Bitmain is king right now in the crypto mining sphere as far as ASICs are concerned. Now, Bitmain has been the world leader in ASIC production for Bitcoin, has been the world leader in ASIC production for Litecoin and Doge and many other algorithms. But new competition is here. And are they really going to compete with Bitmain? That's what we're all waiting to see. And honestly, Bitmain's record is undefeated. So let's see what 2024 brings. So recently, I found out that a few resellers have already listed the L9 for sale on their website as a pre-order. Now, they did list some specifications, which I think is kind of funny since Bitmain hasn't really released any specifications on the unit, at least to my knowledge as of making this video. Now, I think it's great that if some of these resellers have a little bit of an edge on the market, maybe they got some insider information and they're trying to stay ahead of the curve. Hey man, it's all business and I wish you guys the best of luck. Let's take a look at some of these alleged specifications and that's what I'm going to call them until we see the official release from Bitmain and see exactly where the L9 is going to level up at. Okay, so I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the top L7, the 9.5 giga hash, and what is alleged to be the top L9 at 17.6 giga hash. Now, you guys are probably gonna recognize these screenshots. They're from a very reputable ASIC reseller that has been in the game for a while, so I will take their word on the L9 since Bitmain has not officially released any specifications. So looking at the L7, 9.5 giga hash, one thing to note here is that it was released in November of 2021, and the L9 is being released this year of 2024. Now, if you've been in crypto mining for a while, you've probably realized that it feels like there's a new ASIC coming out all the time. I feel like every six months, Bitmain's releasing some new variant, and it may be even faster than that, right? But for Bitmain not to release a new script miner for almost three years says that the L7 was one of their top machines and it probably sold very, very well. And honestly, there's a lot of people with L7s. It's a great machine. I've rarely heard of L7s going bad. So if you get some in the used market, they're probably good machines, but do your research on it before you get into it. All right, so let's get into the comparison here. So looking at the size, we don't see much of a difference here. Right, um, it looks like the L9 will be actually slightly smaller in some areas than the L7. Moving down here from weight net, it looks like the weight's gonna be about the same, which is to be expected. Noise level to be expected. Fans is gonna be four, but this one is saying that the fans are gonna be two. I think that may be a mistake, but hey, if it's two fans, then that'll be really interesting to see when we find out what these machines look like. So going down here now, what everybody's most concerned about is power consumption. Now, we do see a decrease with the L9, about 165 watt difference between the L7 and the L9. The L9 is rocking about 3260, and the L7 is rocking about 3425. Now, here's the thing, guys. If you're new to ASIC mining, you gotta go plus or minus at least 5% because what you pull from the wall will be different. Now, it looks like you may have to use a 240 volt for this, which you wanna do anyway, right? You want that higher voltage because you wanna save on those amps. 
the rest of the information looks pretty good interface ethernet temperature uh, on the l9 says 5 to 45 c and the l7 says 0 to 40 c the humidity on the l7 also says operating between 10 and 90 and the humidity on the l9 says 5 to 95 i wonder what makes that different but again Bitmain has not officially released the specifications for this. And honestly, guys, I can vouch for the L7 because at Terra Hosting, which is the company that I own with four other amazing people, we have a lot of L7s and they do great. Um, I haven't had a lot of L7s that needed repair. You're always going to have that point of failure. ASICs fail right around 5% for Bitmain is what we usually see. But the L7s have been really consistent. They're a really great machine. So I hope that the L9 carries that legacy forward because it's been a solid machine. But I'm still I'm still interested to see what these two fans are. Does it really come with two fans? Real quick, before we continue the video, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of the L9. Do you really think it's going to take over script mining or do you think people are going to load up on used L7s for a much cheaper price? I'd love to hear what you guys think. Let me know. All right, let's continue. Okay, so let's talk about price. Now, my price prediction for the L9 17.6 giga hash is going to be right around 15 to 16,000, but I would not be surprised if we saw 19 to 20,000 on some sites as people are trying to cash in on the hype. So make sure you guys do your research. Another company that I do want to mention is Alphapex. Now, Alphapex has got a new model ASIC and it's called the DG1. It's 11 giga hash and it uses 3,420 watts. The price point sits right now, right around $7,150. That's what I sell it for currently on terrahashes.com. And honestly, compared to the L7 9.5 giga hash, you get a little bit better efficiency at a similar price point, which I think is what Alphapex was trying to do. They were trying to cater to the people who have the L7s. But in comparison to the L9, well, there is no comparison to the L9 because the L9 efficiency is way better than any other script miner that is going to come to market. But again, it still remains to be seen. We need those official specifications. Hurry up, Bitmain. Anyway, the Alpha Pex does give you a lot of bang for your buck at $7,000. Like I said, it's 11 giga hash at 3420 watts when the L7 9.5 giga hash runs at about the same wattage. So something to consider if you're trying to budget getting into ASIC mining. Just remember guys, ASIC mining is very risky. Crypto mining in general is risky and you want to make sure that you could afford to lose that money because honestly, it's a very, very volatile market and things change constantly. So make sure you do your research on that. However, moving forward, I do think the L9 is going to sweep into the market and tons of people are going to be buying into it and they're going to be liquidating their L7. So if you're looking to get cheap units, this might be the perfect time to pick up an L7. All right, so I wanted to visit the Bitmain website just to show you guys that there's been no announcement on the L9. So we can go to Antminer up here. We'll go to LTC Doge script. And the only machine that they have here is the L7 9050, which is sold out, I believe, if you click on it, right? Is it sold out? Yep, it says sold out up here. So now you guys can go to bitmain.com and stay up with it. I'm sure you can find out tons of things. Uh, they don't have anything listed in their events. So it's going to be very interesting to see exactly what they do with the L9. Now, I'm kind of stuck on the two fans thing for a second. If it has two fans, that's going to be weird because we haven't seen two fans on a Bitmain A6 since what? The S9 and the L3. So if they do go a little what's minor design, that's going to be interesting to see. So if you guys want to check out bitmain.com, go to it and keep updated. Well guys, this is the part of the video where you get to say, Hawk, I told you so. Why? Because I honestly argued against the L9. I didn't think it would come out. I thought it would have been an L7 plus variant. Unfortunately, I was wrong. So if you made it to the end of this video, you can put in the comment section, Hawk, I told you so. I love all of you. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys on the next one. Hawk out.